If there's one look that a lot of our readers always ask us about, it's the smoky eye. I think it's a eyeshadow trend that everyone wants to know how to do and not everyone's sure how to do. So we've got Shanaz from Shanaz Loves Beauty here today. She is a professional makeup artist and she's going to show us how to do it in two easy steps. Okay, so the face has already been prepped. Um, we fill the brows, the foundation, the highlighting, contouring, that's already been done. Um, so when it comes to um, the eyes, the doing a smoky eye, a lot of people get frightened. Um, they don't know shapes and what to do and products. But there is such an easy way to do a smoky eye, and it's a smudge smoky eye. Um, and it's just using an eyeliner pencil. So um, Smashbox, I bought out this amazing pen, always sharp. So when you twist it, it's sharp, it's magic. It's so clever. Um, and it is waterproof and long wearing. Now, if you're just going to use it, um, if you're just going to use one product to do a smoky eye, you want it to be a long wearing product. Um, so something like this or a gel liner, so Bobbi Brown, MAC, um, a few of them do these gel liners. Um, you want it to be able to stay on all day because your eyelids are actually so oily. Mm -hmm. um, and if you're just using a product that's, say for example, MAC Smolder, it um, smudges really easily, but it doesn't last very long and it creases. So you want something that's really, really long wearing. Um, so things like waterproof and long wear, you'll see on the product, so you'll know. Um, so basically, what you do with this is you're going to, we're going to apply it uh, on the lid up to the crease, and then we're going to blend it in, and then we're going to go on the bottom lash and into the waterline. Okay. So hopefully you're okay with that. Yeah. <laughs> so um, we're going to use a blending brush, um, my favourite, the Mac 217 blending brush. So we're going to close the eye, and we're going to just go in, and you don't have to be tidy and pull up, so just make sure, um, because the skin sags a little bit uh, on the lash line, you just want to pull up so that you make sure you get right in there. You okay? Mm -hmm. And then we're gonna just blend. So, because this product will dry really quickly, as you're going along with your steps, you just want to blend it in. Your eyes okay? Mm -hmm. Sensitive, because you're not used to it. Yeah. <laughs> So basically, you want to just dot the product. So does this one blend quite easily? It yeah, sounds. it's quite easy, yeah. You just need to keep applying. Wing it out a little bit. So basically when you're blending, you want to just use your motion of your hands just like back and forth. And with this product, you just want to take it up to the crease line. So what kind of things do your readers want to know when it comes just how to do the smoky eye? I think everyone wonders how many products you need to create it properly. And I always was also under the impression that you need a bunch of products. Yeah, well you can. There's different ways to, to create a smoky eye. So you can, you know, this is a really simple, quick, do the smoky eye and go. And it's a really nice, natural way to do it. Um, then you can use, you know, eyeshadows so you get the quads of four. And that will, some of them actually now give you direction on where to use the actual product. Oh yeah, I've seen they put a yeah. number. Yeah, so you'll have the number, so you'll have one that goes onto the lid, the one that goes in the inner corner of the eye, the one that goes in the crease, and the one that's going to create the pop. Um, so it, making it more foolproof for people, because I think, you know, when these products are created, they automatically assume people know how to do makeup, yeah. and they don't. So you can just see, we're just slowly, slowly building up 
And when she opens her eyes, you can see there's the definition along the lash line, and then we've got, you know, enter the crease. Now, when you're doing it yourself, make sure you do it when you're looking into a mirror. Um, if you've got hooded eyes, um, like some girls do, it comes down low. You want to make sure that it's matching on, on both sides. Um, and take your time with it. In the end, you'll be able to do it so quickly. So I'm going to go back in, just create that definition on the bottom lash line. And I saw you using a brown um, eyeliner. Can yeah. you use brown or black? Or brown, black, gray, whatever. I think people always think, oh, I've got to do a black smoky eye. Or, you know, you can do anything. You can do plum, you can do red, you know, whatever okay. color that you want to do. So already you can see now we've got that definition. It actually looks really pretty on you. <laughs> okay, and then look up. Are you going to be okay for me to go into your lash line? Okay, yeah. so we twist this and apparently it magically... Uh, I don't know how they do that. It just sharpens. Sharp again. <laughs> okay, so we're going to go into the lash line. Now pull right down when you're going into the lash line. Now, if you want, you can go underneath the lash line and then blend in. We're just going to keep it really simple today. So this is like a really simple, smoky. And this is something actually you could wear in the day. If you want to make, give that extra smoke, then you can go on the bottom lash line. OK, close for me. Another nice way is uh, Maybelline have these amazing um, color tattoo um, cream. Uh, eyeshadows. Those are really nice. So you just take your brush and apply it and you know you can create a nice bronzy smoky eye and that stays on for hours. It's another great way um, to do it. So this is just one way of how to create you know a smoky eye. Okay so there's just a really simple smoky smudged eye and I hope you enjoyed your tutorial. <laughs>